Alyssa. Today I have got a delicious recipe for you that is showing you how to make a vegan and gluten-free chocolate zucchini bread. But before we dive in, I do want to take a quick pause and just give you a little update about how I've been responding to everything that's been going on here in America with the protesting and the Black Lives Matter movement, what I personally am doing to educate myself, to learn, to unlearn, and to be more of an ally to the black community, as well as learning how to be anti-racist. I feel like this could be its own entire video, um, but I don't feel like I'm quite at the point where I am knowledgeable enough and informed enough to share that with you. So that video might come, but for now I'm really taking a step back from creating content and really trying to take some time to evaluate how I move through the world, but also how I represent myself in my own business and how I can be more inclusive, I can encourage more diversity, and I can help to amplify the voices of people of color who just haven't gotten the opportunity to be as well discovered and be heard as much on platforms like YouTube, Instagram, and even the blogging world. So you might have noticed, maybe you didn't notice, that I took a little pause from creating content on this platform, specifically sharing videos and recipes of my own, just because I felt like, A, I wasn't in the headspace to create content and think about sharing a recipe for chocolate zucchini bread when there was so much other stuff to be going on and so much work to be done internally for myself. And also I wanted to take all of last week to not talk about myself at all and really share and amplify the voices of black creators that are on this platform. I realized throughout this whole past week and it's really, it's kind of, it makes me feel ashamed that it took me this long to realize that most of the people that I follow, not only just on YouTube, but also on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, most of those people that I follow are white and I need to diversify my own feed and my content. And I have been able to find in the last week so many amazing people of color who are sharing incredible content. And I really want to help lift them up. I want to help introduce you to them. And I really want to help give them a stronger voice on this platform, but also on other platforms like Instagram as well. So I haven't totally figured out what that looks like for me over the next, well, forever, how I can continue doing that. I am gonna be doing a mix of sharing my content as like a video, like you're seeing now, but there also is a part of my platform on YouTube that I can share posts, and those will still come up in your feed. And I plan to continue to share other people's contents in that post. So you'll be seeing photos, you'll be seeing me share updates with introducing you to these different people of color on YouTube. I'll be tagging their channels, I'll be sharing their videos, I'll be telling a little bit more of their stories. And I really encourage you to follow along and check them out. And I want you to do more than just like briefly look at their channel and subscribe. I really want you to engage with their content because the more that we engage with their content, the more growth opportunities they have and you are able to really find someone that you connect with. So I really encourage you to diversify your own feed and try to find more people that don't necessarily look like you that share amazing content because they're out there and we need to be able to give them more amplification. We need to give them more of an opportunity to grow on these platforms. And we need to make this space, this food space, the kind of food blogging space, it needs to be more diverse than it is. So that's one of the things that I'm doing. I also am gonna be continuing to share resources on my Instagram stories. So if you are following me on Instagram, I recommend just watching my stories from time to time. Um, I also have a document that actually my mom shared with me. It is an anti-racist document and it has a full list of resources for you to use that include articles to read, podcasts to listen to, videos to watch, Netflix series to watch, uh, documentaries, and so much more. So I will link that down below. It's just a free open Google Doc, and I think that you'll find a lot of really inf interesting information there. In the past week, I feel like I have learned so much, but I know that there is still so much for me to learn and unlearn. I really like that word unlearn because we've 
kind of been conditioned to believe things our whole lives. So this is also going to be a process of unlearning some of those things. So I encourage you to really step in to educate yourself and read some of these books. Like I said, follow black creators, engage with their content. And I really think that together we can all amplify not only their voices, but we can also use our voices to help lift them up and inspire change and action in our own communities. I also will be creating more What I Eat in a Day videos. I know you guys really like those and I feel like I'm gonna really try to incorporate people that I'm following on YouTube. I wanna use their recipes and make them in those What I Eat in a Day videos and share them with you. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. If there's any questions that you have or anything that you wanna talk in further detail on, please leave comments down below. I encourage you to try to keep this as positive as possible, but also if there is something that you want to challenge me on, please feel free to do that. I am open to just having any type of conversation. I've actually had some really empowering conversations with people who I don't agree with in the last week, and they've been really productive. I've learned a ton from them, and I hope that they've also learned a ton from me. And um, so yeah, I encourage that as well if you wanna talk about that as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into today's new recipe, which I said is a chocolate zucchini bread. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you make it and try it. If you do wanna try it, it is up on the blog for you and that link is down below. So let's get into it. So this recipe is super easy to make. It only uses one bowl. We are gonna start by adding our mashed banana into our bowl along with our flax eggs, some maple syrup, some almond milk or your milk of choice, a little bit of apple cider vinegar, and some coconut sugar. And you can just beat that together until it is combined. Once it's combined, you're gonna add in your dry ingredients. And yes, this is a one bowl recipe. For our dry ingredients, we are using one cup of oat flour, three quarters of a cup of quinoa flour, a quarter cup of arrowroot starch, as well as a quarter cup of cacao powder or unsweetened cocoa powder, some baking powder, baking soda, and sea salt. From there, you will mix everything together until it forms a kind of batter slash dough consistency. It's gonna be on the thicker side, but it will loosen up when you add in your zucchini. So you might be tempted to add more liquid, but don't. It will definitely be the right consistency once you stir everything in. So the final step is to add in your zucchini and your chocolate chips. For some reason, I don't have me stirring it on film, but just fold it all together. And then we will transfer this into a parchment lined loaf pan. I grease my pan and I line it with a little bit of parchment paper so that it's easy to pull the loaf out when it's done cooking. And you'll just pour all of the batter directly into the pan. You can also cook this in like a cake pan or you could do a muffin tin. So really up to you, it works in all three. And you will smooth out the top once you have all the batter in. And I just like to finish it off with a little bit of shredded zucchini and some more chocolate chunks or chocolate chips just to kind of give it a nice, I don't know, appearance on top. Totally optional, you definitely don't have to do that. We will then pop this in a 350 degree oven for a good 60 minutes. It might even take a little bit longer. And you'll let this cool in the pan for about five minutes and then you can remove it and you will let it cool completely before you slice it. This is really important because it will stay gummy in the center if you don't let it cool. Once you have it cool and you're ready to slice it up, you can just slice it into your slices. I will say this bread is on the moister side, so you're gonna want a sharp knife. I don't have a super sharp knife to cut, like a super sharp serrated knife. If you did have a really sharp serrated knife, that would have more even slices, but it's still just as delicious as is. Then for finishing everything off, you can eat it just as it is, slightly reheated. You could toast it in the toaster oven, or you could do what I did, which is do a generous drizzle of peanut butter, chocolate, and peanut butter is the best combination on the planet, so I just had to do it. And that was it. This freezes really well. I usually like to cut up my whole loaf and pop it in the freezer and then just toast a slice at a time for breakfast. It's super delicious, not too sweet, tastes like banana, sneaks in some veggies, and as you can see, it's super easy to make. And there you have it, my friends. I hope you enjoyed today's recipe video. I 
do have this recipe on the blog for you, so it's ready for you to make it if you want to bake it up. It's delicious, it's perfect for summer. It's a great way to use zucchini. It's also gluten-free and vegan. And like I said in the beginning of this video, I have a ton of resources that I'd like to share with you and I encourage you to check them out. So I've linked those down below for you. And I just think that the more that we can learn and educate and unlearn, the more powerful our voices can be the more action we can take, the more change we can make happen. And it's just really important for us all to be involved in this movement and really stand up for what we believe, stand up for what's right, stand up for equality, stand up against injustice and have our voices be heard. So I encourage you to check out those resources, get involved, take action, and I appreciate you being here and watching this video. If you do have any people of color that you follow here on YouTube that you want me to share on that community section and in a post, please tag them down below so I can check out their channels and I can share their content and hopefully help them grow in the process. So thank you so much for being here. I really, really appreciate you guys are the best. I so adore this community and I appreciate you being here and listening to me today. So enjoy the recipe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.